impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody record. Right? Tell me who record I haven't broke. Colossal Boxing Talk. What's good, YouTube? This is the homie Smooth Cat with Colossal Boxing Talk, and this is going to be another video for me about Carol Brook from last night. But in this video, it's, it's, it's more looking, looking towards his future instead of um, what happened last night. But to highlight last night, as I said on my video, last video, Carol Brook was uh, Carol Brook did a good job of, of uh, boxing and uh, forcing Sean Porter into his power shots. He also did a good job using his lateral movement and that straight one too. The straight hey, I said it on the video that that Sean Porter was a sucker for the straight one too, and now people and now we all we all see. But, I mean, that doesn't discredit Porter by any means. It just shows you what he needs to work on to help himself get better. But, for the task at hand with future opponents, I'm hearing I'm hearing all types of names for Kill Brook. And after a win like that, like you say, he, he deserves another big fight. So, I'm hearing names like Juan Manuel Marquez, Keith Thurman, Amir Khan, or a potential rematch with Sean Porter. I mean, nothing is set in concrete yet, so this is just me giving my speculation on it. So, so before we even watch the video, let, let's not say uh, old smooth cat said. I didn't say he was gonna fight any of these guys. I just said this is that's what I was hearing. But anyways, me honestly, like I say, um. In the case with Juan Manuel Marquez, I believe Marquez deserves a shot at a championship, at a welterweight title, and and it was rumored that if Sean Porter would have won, that more than likely it was going to be Sean Porter versus Juan Manuel Marquez. But by Porter not winning, that that put so now Brooke is in the driver's seat and he can pick from these fights. But last night during his uh, post fight interview. Kel Brooks, uh, he 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 said uh, he, he would he didn't mind taking on Keith Thurman, Amir Khan. He was ready for any and everybody. So, <sighs> out of these guys, I'll say it like this: I believe the most lucrative fight for him would be to go to go. Uh, Kel Brook versus Amir Khan, Wembley Stadium. It'll be a huge event. Two of um, the UK's best fighters going against each other. So, like you say, that's the most lucrative. The fights that that, that I believe that that will give him <clears throat> the big the biggest boost in his career is if he if he was to fight Keith one time Thurman. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people are are hesitant about getting in the ring and giving. Keith one time Thurman a shot, but if uh, Brooke goes and gives Keith uh, Thurman a shot, that that debunks that everybody at welterweight is ducking and afraid of him. And Keith Thurman, I mean, excuse me, and Kel Brook will be taking, uh, like I said, he will be taking a risk that not a lot of people are anxious about taking. Excuse me, sorry about that. But um, anyways, in the case of Juan Manuel Marquez. Lego, I mean, to be the to be the legend like Marquez would do huge things for Kell Brook's career. Even though Marquez, like I say, his last fight against Alvarado, he looked good, and and he, and he had to, he, he he was pretty pretty dominant in that fight, outboxing uh Alvarado. But honestly, I think Marquez has seen has seen better days. And I don't think he's the, I don't think he's the same force that he once was, but I would call that fight a 50-50 fight just because I because Marquez is a warrior and a legend and he has uh, superlative boxing skills. So you you can never count a legend like Marquez out in that type of fight. But like I say, me honestly, this 
uh, the ball is in Carol Brooks' court. So Carol Brooks gets to decide who, when, where, how. He's the new IBF champion, and he deserved the right. So hopefully he uh, he makes a fight with one of these one of the names I mentioned, or or he he could potentially give Porter a rematch. I'm not I'm not sure. I, I, me, I think if him and Porter fight again, it might be a little later, maybe next year sometime. But I think me, I'm, I'm going to go on record and say I believe that uh, Kell Brook versus Amir Khan. Will, will more than likely happen this year. That's my that's my belief. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't. But any of these fights, I'm definitely interested in. And so, this is going to be the end of the video. Not not going to make it too long. But uh, hopefully, you guys hit that like button for me. Leave comments in the comment section about which guy you think Kell Brook match, matches up better with, or which guy you would just like to see him fight. Do you think he should go for the lucrative option? The um, <clears throat> the legacy option, I mean, all, all of these fights are, are legacy options in my opinion. But but you know how everybody has different views on things. But anyways, or or do you think he should go go out for the um, for the guy that, that that everybody's calling the big bad bully, aka Keith Thurman, who's who like I say is one hell of a fighter. But. Like I said, leave comments in the comment section, and, and you already know I'll get to you guys at my earliest convenience. Also, uh, go to the YouTube page, hit that subscribe button for us, keep showing us the love and support, and we're going to keep bringing you guys uh, these videos. Also, go over to Facebook, hit that like button on the Colossal Boxing Talk page, and you can also hit that like button to support us on the Colossal Sports Zone page, uh, Sports Zone page as well. Last but not least, Go over to Twitter, hit that follow button on, on Colossal CBT for us, and ju just keep showing us the love and support. It's definitely appreciated. This is the homie Smooth Cat, and I'm out.